Hello. Welcome, welcome to the House That Dignity Built Ministries. I'm Dr. Dainty Jones, and I serve as apostle of this ministry. And this ministry is powered by the our nonprofit group uh, called the Dignity and Direction Group, where, um, where we expose resources for education, entrepreneurship, employment, and civic engagement. And welcome again. Today, we will cover a prayer for October 2023, for October 2023. Uh, I have been enjoying um, spending this time uh, with the Lord and in the in God's word and to be able to share this word with you as well. I pray that it has been a blessing over your life. I know it's been blessing me to be able to um, dig into this word more, to chew on this word, to meditate on this word. All right, so let's get started uh, with our three scriptures. The first scripture comes from the book of Habakkuk, and Habakkuk means to embrace. It's the 35th book of the Bible. It's in the Old Testament. It has three chapters, and it is one of the, uh, it's in the section of the minor prophets, of the minor prophets. The minor prophet books are smaller than the major prophet books. They have fewer chapters. Um, and so that's why it's called the Minor Prophets. There are 12 books in this section of the Bible. There are 12 books. All right, let's look at our scripture from Habakkuk. And it is, you have plotted the ruin of many peoples, shaming your own house and forfeiting your life. And this scripture is about using an unholy way, um, using the idolatry of money, like the love of money, to be able to build your house. Um, instead of building your house with Jesus as the cornerstone. So that's the important lesson in that scripture, that we are to build our houses um, through what God has for us. Our next scripture comes from Lamentations, the book of Lamentations, and it means suffering. It is the 25th book of the Bible. It is in the Old Testament. It has five chapters, and it is part of the major prophet section. Now, Lamentations was written by uh, Prophet Jeremiah, and Lamentations I I call that book the blues the blues book of the Bible, where God's people are singing the blues. Um, because they are suffering, they are in exile and in and in bondage, and they are being forced to sing when they don't even want to sing, as part of the punishment from the enemies of uh, being separated from God. And so we're looking at Lamentations five and five. It reads: Those who pursue us are at our heels. We are weary and find no rest. Um, I also think it's helpful to look at the King James Bible version that reads, our necks are under persecution. We labor and we have no rest. See, that's because they are not yoked to God. They're separated from God at that moment. And they know to get rest, they've got to return to God's face. Our final scripture for today is from Nehemiah. And Nehemiah means God comforts. And I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that God is a comforter. This is the 16th book of the Bible. It's in the Old Testament. It has 13 chapters 
and it's part of the section called historical narratives. Historical narratives. Nehemiah loved the Lord so much that he wanted to repair and to restore. Um, and in Nehemiah 9 and 1, it reads, on the 24th day of the same month, the Israelites gathered together, fasting and wearing sackcloth and putting dust on their heads. You see, they were confessing their sins and doing symbolic um, actions to show God um, what was in their hearts that they were truly repenting. And so let's now go then to our prayer. Let's move into our prayer by building upon these scriptures or by uh, building the prayer through looking at these scriptures. Father God in heaven, we love you. We give you all glory. We give you all praise, Lord God. We ask that you wash away our sins, those we know about, those we don't know about. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for embracing us. Thank you, Lord God. We don't want to bring shame to our houses, Lord God. We don't want to bring shame by focusing upon money as a God money which is the root of all evil when you treat it like a god we want to we want to embrace you because we don't want to suffer we don't want to be in a place where we have no rest where we're separated from you where we're in exile from you where our enemies get to run us and to rule us and to run us into the ground for we'll have no rest from the evil labor that they make us to do lord god we don't want to suffer we want to remain in your embrace. So thank you so much for being a God who comforts. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for giving us the power to repent, for giving us the wisdom to fast and to pray as a sin offering to you of atonement that we give to you, Lord God, in order to return to the order that obedience and faithfulness brings, Lord God. So thank you for the comfort. Thank you for the embrace. Thank you for the light yoke that obedience to you brings uh, and to our lives, Lord God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we offer this prayer through Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Do you believe in the power of this prayer, saints? I do. I believe in it, and I pray that you have the same type of belief. I pray that your faith is the size, at least the size of a mustard seed, because just that amount of faith will still bring God's glory and his favor and his grace and his mercy and power into your lives. Well, blessings to you. I look forward to being in your virtual presence again for our November, our upcoming November 2023 prayer.